Oh, there's no air here. Okay, good. Uh. Oh, shit. Okay, I need to fly. Thank you for the oxygen game. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Close. There we go. Oh, shit. Asshole. <laughs> Where... Where did that ammo go? I like shot it off into oblivion. Okay. God. Took one step out of the captain's mm. chest and chin. That thing. He almost got me. You okay? Oh shit. I trapped him in a damaged mm. escape pod. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. Oh! Pulse round schematics. Cool. I can buy them now. Okay, I don't actually know where I am. I don't- have I been here? I don't- I don't think so. I- Ah, stop it. Stop it. Ooh! Please, get away, get away from me. And you die. Nope, that didn't... Nope, that's not... No, there we go. That's what I was looking for. That. There it is. Okay. I got my ammunition back. Yeah, no, so I haven't been here yet. Oh. Oh, no, that was the lock. That was the locked door. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. That was the locked door. <clears throat> I'm guessing I have to go this way. Yep. You save. Alright. <clears throat> well, now I need to go here again. I'm sure I already cleared this area out. Unless it's gonna respawn some more stuff. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. In here. Okay. Uh, stasis pack. Oh, that's his schematic. Okay. I thought it was just the actual thing. Okay. Let's open the bench up. <clears throat> um... Oh, wait, how many? I have one. Okay. I'm gonna do damage. I feel like I need to do more damage. Okay, let's save. Before we go into whatever this is. <clears throat> right, biological prosthetic center. That's kind of cool. I feel like it'd be a little better if it was the same 
Like if it blended in with the arm, like the rest of the arm. But... Oh no, I remember this. It's the it's the the babies. I don't think I can Oh. <clears throat> Lovely. I'm going to have to deal with that now. I hear you, you little shit. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Open up. There we go. I hate that. Ammo. Oh shit, I have like no ammo. Okay, I'm gonna have to use, start using this now. Okay. <clears throat> Zoe, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was ready. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw it. I saw Ensign Sable had been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants could, took priority over a cornea. Clerical error. Here's the. Here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one suddenly bumped up to vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about filling in an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. That's kind of fucked up, actually. <clears throat> that should be something that's pushed back against. Pushed back against. Oh! Stop that. Oh, there's, hi, there's another one of you. Alright, where was the first one? Where'd you, where'd you go? There you are. Okay. Ah, I forgot about the babies. Wouldn't call this a wonderful experience. <laughs> Alright. So, what? Oh, credits. Thank you. Oh, that. This is. Okay. I see how. I see where we are now. I don't think that's what's supposed to happen. Replace that. Oh, there's the shock pad. Okay. Angels isn't answering her wriggling. What's your status? I you found a shock note? pad I could use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. Wait, where does this go? Oh, this goes to this door. Okay. So plant the explosive charge. <clears throat> oh. I almost ran into this without thinking. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Let's see, it needed time to spawn. Alright. Hydrazine bomb. I'm glad I know how to make this. That seems legal. Step away from that. Or am I supposed to shoot it? Okay. I think I'm supposed to shoot it. Uh. Did I manually detonate it? Or. Oh no, I probably go in here. I go yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh, there it goes. Alright. I can head in 
Hi. Oh, you. Okay. I, uh. You were not supposed to just spawn like that. Jesus Christ. I almost died. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go get some stuff from the store real quick before I uh, go forward with that. Oh, I can buy notes? That's cool. I didn't know that. Okay, so I'll sell this. Mm. <clears throat> I'm gonna stay with that for now. Remember, when you reach the morgue, find Captain Matthias' body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. Uh, I didn't hear what he said. I realized why it was freezing a lot more. I forgot to turn my fan on. It's time. Don't open that door. They have come. Uh, give them hope. Give them strength. They'll last a bit longer. We are so fucked. <laughs> yeah. Weapon upgrade? Ooh. Okay. I need to find a bench for that. I should also probably pick this up. Security that needs level one. Required. Where do I get security clearance? No, I need I need to find out how to get security clearance. I'm gonna fight something in here. I don't actually need to get through that yet because I don't have security clearance. <clears throat> Medical log. Harris is asleep. After another dose of sedative, he seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances. Not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr... Ciarlo hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't even de doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. The class This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exists, exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans' murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He, st he claims that explanation is stuck in his mind, and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory, peri hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface, claiming the dreams need to speak, and that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of his case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. What the fuck? Oh, hi. You... You're just taking a nap. It's fine. What is this? That's... That's what that is. Oh, it's a, is that a, is it like a stasis bomb? That's kind of cool. Remove the battery, ensure no breaker is being used on the circuit breaker. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just love. Hi, what the hell? Shit. 
Oh, that's being held together by stasis, I think. That's what that looks like, at least. Yeah. Medical log. Audio log. Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. I repurposed this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now, <clears throat> it's the only place I feel safe. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations but it's just a sample it's not enough to figure out a cure i need to get rid of engineering here the engineer has pulled something out of machinery limbs missing torso intact okay time for a real autopsy oh so she was trying to figure out what was going on Find autopsy location and engineering. Hi! Oh, it's... okay. Hi, you're... oh, you look more gross than I remember you looking. Oh, there you oh, Hi, hi. You're you're a regular. You're a regular dude. Please stop that. Holy shit! What did I just do? Please, please. There we go. Stop that now. Ooh. Jesus Christ, you didn't make noise. That's not okay. Fuck. Okay. So, yeah, I need to go this way. To the ER hallway. Oh, that's lovely. Hi. Where do I need to go? That way? I'm going this way. I don't... Oh, I was gonna say, I don't think there's anything over here, actually. But there was. Hi. <laughs> You're a crawly bastard, aren't you? Oh, you're okay. I see. I see. I understand. Ow. Where? Oh, you're right there. Hi. Asshole. Okay. Where am I now? Oh, I'm in the bad place. Good. Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you will lock me in with them. Oh. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. Uh. Um. What did I just hear? Hi! Oh! Hi! Okay. Hi. I knew I- I knew there was- Oh, there's more! There's more! Oh, good. Oh, shit! Oh, that's just straight up a grenade. Holy shit. I'm... Um,
I need to. Th uh, never mind. I'm just gonna blast. I wasn't expecting that to decapitate you. Goddamn. Audio log. It's Karen's kind. You were in surgery, so I left this with Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Agent 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked oh. to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or, sir, maybe I was wrong. Uh, we need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Uh. <laughs> Hi. That's great. I'm glad you did that. I'm glad that happened. Don't whisper at me, you spectral bitch. Scan rig to unlock workstation. I don't have any more rigs. Or at least none. Okay. Empty save slots. Uh, oh, good. Oh, that's better, actually. That's so much better. I'm glad this is happening. Can I run? Can I fly? I can't do either. Okay. Thank you for stopping that. There's no power. Good. 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 I'm glad. Oh, shit. Hi. Come on. Go ahead. No, no, no. You want to start shit, you better finish. You better finish it. You don't get to start shit and then decide you want to run away. No, no, that's not how this works. Oxygen. I'm going out into space, aren't I? No, I'm not. Why did those spawn in? Thank you for the credits. Fuck. <clears throat> Thank you for the pulse rounds. Stasis pack. Um, I don't like that it's so quiet in here. Alright, autopsy room. What happened? Oh. Hi. Oh, you're dead. I remember you. Or no, you're somebody else. Oh! Oh my god. I forgot about that. Oh. Hi. How are you? Okay, that's 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 great. That's fine. That's holy shit. What happened? <laughs> Wait. Why did I go back into cutscene? What is? <laughs> um. Oh look, there's me. I'm just, I'm just here. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Okay. How are you alive? Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Oh, you're still... Okay, there's no more in here, but now I have to deal with- Oh, that's great. I'm glad that's happening. No! Oh, what the hell? There's nothing there! There's nothing there! What the- What? I, uh... I can't... Hello? I'm... <laughs> um... I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're you're a bit tougher than the standard ones. All right, where is the... Yep, there you are. Oh, why are you... Why is it invisible? Or is it not? I guess it's not. That was weird. Okay. Let me get the captain's rig. Fuck. Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! Ugh. Transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? <laughs> Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Oh, that's how I get um, level one clearance. I think. Give me the fuck. Oh, oh no! Wait. Ah. Uh. Shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Isaac. I'm here. What the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh, God. I have to get to engineering. <laughs> There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. Oh, shit. If this okay. damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Ow, you... Fuck. Okay. Go to the hangar bay. Stop whispering, you bastard. Okay. I don't actually know where I'm going. I'm go I'm going the right way. That's security too. Can I go back? Hang on.
Oh, shit. Okay. I don't have any more plasma cutter ammo, so I only have the rifle now. One. Thank you. God. Look at his wounds. He can't handle so many trauma. And the thing is Okay. <clears throat> I made it back here. Clearance confirmed. <laughs> I thought I opened that before. Maybe not. Okay. So, which way? I go back that way. Let me get some stuff from the store real quick. Let's head back this way. Please, thank you. Oh, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. Let's get in the tram. Uh, let's head back to the hangar. Flight deck tram control. Tram control. No, 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 it's fine. All right, which way am I heading? Heading this way. The flight lounge, bitch. God, this looks so cool. <laughs> Head down this spooky hallway. I'm gonna go into the bathroom and take a shit. I can't die here, not yet. Not like this. Eat me. They are my. They are. They ate. Oh, they ate my. My boy? They ate my boy. Let's see here. To the flight line. Oh, it's dark. Oh no, don't you don't eat oh. <laughs> Thanks for making me relive that, I guess. Game <laughs> it's, uh, kinda fucked up. Imagine a world where basic resources like fuel, ore, metals, and ice are hard to come by. Imagine if humanity's needs were entirely dependent on the nearly extinct resources of Earth and the dwindling supplies of colonies. Older readers don't need to imagine such a world. You lived it. Less than a century ago. Looking to the stars for additional resources was nothing new, but at the time, only the, sh the only shock point capable ships were smaller vessels that could barely keep up with demand. Enter the Ishimura. Named after the celebrated astrophysicist and inventor of the shock point drive, Hideki Ishimura, the USG Ishimura was the first of the massive planet cracker ships, built in 2446. She has enjoyed a long and storied career. The Ishimura was the first vessel of her size to utilize the shock point drive for large scale commercial deep space expeditions. At her inception, the Ishimura was hailed as the savior of the colonies. She was created to mine and even process asteroids and even small moons with remarkable efficiency. 
She was also the first ship capable of the pioneering scan and catch technique for harvesting mineral rich asteroids. Utilizing huge gravity tethers, the Ishimura could lock onto asteroids and pull them aside the sh inside the ship's massive collection bays for quick and efficient smelting. At 62 years, the Ishimura is still in remarkable shape. Her equipment has been upgraded over the years, and many of her interior spaces have been re retrofitted to take advantage of current technological advances. Despite so many years of service, she still remains the pride of the CEC fleet and is the, still the company's largest planet cracker. Whenever a vital deep space mining project requires skill, experience, and dedication, the Ishimura is ready to answer the call. It's ships like the Ishimura and the dedication of the men and women who crew her that built the Concordance Extraction Corporation into the trusted, dependable resource provider it is today. Interesting, interesting. Fuck off. Uh, what, I go this... No, I go this way, actually. Oh, shit. That's horrifying. It's locked. Isaac, this damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar door. I'll open them now. Oh. Entering zero gravity. Alright. Where am I? Oh, hello. I'm going this way now. You'll need your thrusters to reach it, but that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering. Alright. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Intensive care completed. Chapter 3, course correction. Now I just fly down. I think this takes me directly to the engineering deck. Oh! That's kind of gross. Alright, down I go. And I see, yep, here we go. Here's the engineering deck. Fuck yeah. We are not punished for our sins, but by them. I don't think this is a result of our sins, I'm gonna be honest. I think you might be misguided in that. Oh, that's kinda... that's kinda gross. Text log. Adding this to my maintenance priority request, maybe something in writing will make them pay attention. The unidentified growth reported so elsewhere on the ship has reached engineering. Not even medical- uh, excuse me, medical knows what the hell this stuff is. It looks like someone threw their guts up all over the walls and smells about the same. It's spreading faster than we can cut it up, which is pretty disgusting in itself. It's already busted the cargo lift and is getting into the engine spoke. If we can't find a way to stop it soon, it'll be over- it'll be all over the main engine chamber by the day after tomorrow. Meantime, I'm heading into the mining deck. They've got PFM 100s in storage for ice mining. If they can spare the fuel, maybe cauterizing this stuff will just do the trick. Just hoping it doesn't smell worse when it's on fire. Yeah, no, I'm guessing they never actually figured out what the hell was going on. Okay, so I'm going to have to end this off here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!